This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these t-shirt mock-up designs using Inkscape. Now this is a job that would normally be more better suited to something like GIMP or Photoshop but there is a quick and dirty way you can do this with Inkscape and I figured I would just share this with you on this channel. So um, let me minimize this and we'll get started here in Inkscape. Uh, at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. And if you'd like to know how you can customize Inkscape to make it appear dark and with these icons, with these icons here, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is set up our document, make sure we have the view set to custom, and then we'll open up our Align and Distribute menu and the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. But as you see here, I already have them open, so let me just close that out and show you. There's the Align and Distribute. We want Last Selected chosen from this dropdown, and then we're going to open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So now that we have this set up how we want it, the first thing we're going to need is these images of these models wearing blank t-shirts. And I will have a link in the description of the video to where you could download these images and I will have another link as well to a site where you can download a bunch of different images wearing you know different colors you got white black brown green yellow all different colors of, of t-shirts so for this tutorial I'm just gonna use the navy color that you see here in the thumbnail so let me um, shrink down the size of the Inkscape window and you'll see here here's the navy folder right here and if you open it up we'll click on navy there's all these images in here of models wearing blank uh, t-shirts and what I like about this is that they have a transparent background so you don't have to do any cropping it's already done with these images so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take the images I want to use and just click and drag them into Inkscape so I'll take this one right here drag that into Inkscape cl uh, click OK we're gonna want embed uh, selected there and there's a description down here in case you'd like to know what that means And there that is and then I'm gonna use this one as well I'm gonna click and drag that into there click OK. Let me close out of that. Maximize this window. And I'm going to, have to zoom out a little bit. Just press minus on the keyboard a few times. And there we have our, um, our blank t-shirt models right there. And what we could do now is you could take any vector graphic that you've created, whether it be a logo or an icon or whatever, and you can now import it into Inkscape. So what I'm going to use here is this logo that I designed for a client a while back. And I'm just going to use that as an example in this tutorial. So let me minimize this window again. And I'm going to take that logo and just click and drag that into Inkscape and maximize that. And what I want to do is I want to take this logo and place it right on top of the shirt where I want it to be. So let me put this over here and make a duplicate copy of that. Just hit Control D to duplicate. And I'm just going to hold Control and Shift and scale that down until it's an appropriate size. And let me just press plus a few times to zoom in. And I'm going to place this right over where I want it to be on the shirt. But if you notice, her shoulders are tilted, so we're going to have to tilt this design accordingly. So let me um, click on this a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'll just rotate this around a little bit so it, makes, so it makes it look like it's aligned with how the shirt is aligned. Like that, that's pretty good. And in order to make the logo look like it's on her shirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the picture of the shirt. And I'm going to duplicate that by hitting Control D. And then I'm going to hold Control, I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and click on this image right where the logo is underneath. So I'll click on it again so we have both the model and the logo selected. And I'll go to Object, Mask, Set. And you'll see, uh, it, it's a little too light to see, but you'll see it imprinted it onto the shirt. Or made it look like it's imprinted onto the shirt anyway. If I move that out of the way, you'll see. So in order to darken this up some more, I'm just going to duplicate it again. I'll just hit Control D. And I'll duplicate it a few more times. Control D, two, three, four. And that's pretty good right there like that. And let me click off of the deselect. And you can see it looks like it's uh, she's wearing a shirt with that design on it. So let me zoom out a little more. And I'm going to do the same thing with this shirt right here. Let me take this and I'll duplicate that. Hit Control D, put it on top of the shirt. Hold Control and Shift. Scale it down. Zoom in a little bit. And you'll notice here, he's standing, he's not standing facing the camera, he's kind of standing at an angle. So we're going to want to take this logo and make it a little, a little less wide to make it look like it, it, it fits with the perspective of, of how he's standing right there. So I'll put that like that. I think that should be pretty good. 
I'll click on the model picture, hit Control D to duplicate it, then hold Shift and Alt and click on it again. If you're using Ubuntu, the Alt key might not work in Inkscape, but from what I understand, if you hold Control and Shift and Alt, that will work. So that's what you could do if you're using Ubuntu. There's also ways where you could disable the Alt key within the Ubuntu system if you want to look into that. I don't remember exactly how I did it, but if I come across it, I'll share it. Uh, but anyway, now that I have them both selected, again, we'll just go to Object, Mask, Set. And again, I'm going to duplicate this a few more times. Control D, two, three, four. And that's pretty good like that. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll take this, uh, click and drag over this whole image. I'll group that together by clicking on the group key. And I'll just come and put this over here like that. Put that, click and drag over the whole thing, group that together. Let me press one on the keyboard to zoom into 100%. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift and scale this down a little bit just so you can see the, the full picture. And there you have uh, your t-shirt mock-up. Now, like I was saying, these have transparent backgrounds, so you can go and create your own backdrop. If you want to create a rectangle and put that below the graphic, you can see how that looks. And you could put any kind of design or texture or whatever else you'd like back there. So that's how you can create a simple t-shirt mock-up using Inkscape. Like I said earlier, you're better off using something like GIMP or Photoshop to do something like this because it provides a lot more options. And that's this is the kind of stuff that GIMP and Photoshop is made for, this type of work right here. But this is just a quick and dirty way you can get it done with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.